right, it's coming at Ford. Let's try it out. Alright, so while that's getting heated up in there, I want to show you, you don't got to spend a lot of money on tools. These are the two hammers I have. This one, I don't have any idea where it came from, but I've got it, so I'll use it. This came from a piece of property I used to own. I found it, and the handle was off one of the old axes I restored, so basically free. Got a pair of channel locks, and I got a pair of vice locks. That's what I'm using, vice grips, that's what I'm using right now to hold on to the pieces with. And then what I've already started is my first knife. It's not going to be a great one, but I'm just doing this as a proof of concept. Cut this out of an old lawnmower blade, and this is what I did last night. I started straightening out some of the edges on it. Uh, but we're going to just see how that comes out. I'll have to retrace my, my profile on there. Uh, but anyway, it, it's kind of just a test for me. I'm going to see how it comes out, see how it does. I'm going to toss this in the fire. See if I can get a few more pieces straightened out on it. Still, you have to straighten out with right down here where it meets the tang. I'll see one more spot. I need to straighten out right here, so I'm gonna go heat that up. grinder and the angle grinder start getting some of this shaped out the way I want it okay we got our profile drawn back out on there start doing some grinding all right guys we have our first major mistake I got a little carried away with the grinder and I went too deep right there on it. So the blade is, I'm still gonna taper this down a little bit, but it's gonna be narrower this way than what I intended for it to be. But that's all right. This is my learning experience. Today, I'm just gonna clean these edges up with a mill file. You can still see part of my mark right here. I'm okay with that, that's not a big deal. I'll file some of this down a little bit to even it out. But that's where we're at right now. Let's get the mill file. filing on the, on the blade with the uh, mill file, getting in these round spots right here, I'm going to the Dremel tool. I still consider this common man. This was a freebie I got from work for working there for as long as I did. So that's what I'm going to do on these corners, try to round these things out, make them a little bit better. Tonight we're going to put the Ricasso line on here, or whatever that thing's called. Alright guys, back working on the knife build today. I don't have a big fancy sander like a lot of guys do, so I've been using this uh, belt sander, just clamp it to the workbench right here. Take my blade and I cut this piece of wood. I just hold it on like that to give me a guide to put my edge on. So I'm going to work on that a little bit and I'll bring you back and show you what I've got when I'm done here.
So what I want to accomplish with that is to get these holes where this is just a press fit in there. This is just an old piece of dowel that I just found laying out here in the in my pile of stuff. And when you put that in there, it's definitely a press fit. I may have to even drill it out just slightly larger. I actually got that pretty sharp right now. I may have to drill it out slightly larger, but I'll try to put it in there with a rubber mallet when I get the scales made. All right, we got the blade in the fire. We're gonna start our heat treating it. I've never done this before, so we're gonna see how it works. Got a small magnet in my vice grips, and I'll test it to see if it's magnetic when, uh, when we take it out. Just the tip of it. Quench. All right, battery's about dead on the camera, but we're going to see if we can get a temper on here. What I want is the blue color on the spine side and a straw color on the blade side. Let's we'll see if we can get to that. I'm going to turn the camera off though. Battery's about dead. Alright, we got our colors in there. Go for the quench. Tell you what, that didn't take as long as I thought it would to turn blue. I turned my back for a second. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but I had blue color all the way down here. But you can see I got blue up there. I got some the straw color in here. We'll see how it goes. Alright, I know it's noisy out here today. I got three fans running because it's so hot here. So uh, yesterday we got it hardened and we got the blade tempered. And today I'm going to put the final edge on and I've got a piece of wood here to make a handle. Hopefully that uh, is good enough. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is, but it's just like a little piece of fence or something. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so 
that's where we're at so far. Today, I'm going to try to get this sanded down. I should have cut more of it out, but I didn't. But we're going to get it sanded down, see if we can get this profile. My first knife. Okay, now we gotta get the final edge on it. Alright, so check this out. I didn't have a sander other than my bell sander before, but one of the guys that watches my channels had this, and he's here local. And he said, Hey, I've got a sander, you can have the thing. He's, yeah, he said, I've used it and I've got my use out of it. So he brought this over to my house and I told him I said I'm not taking it for free, so tell me what you want for it. So he gets the first Bullhorn Beach t-shirt. Appreciate that. Appreciate that much, Mike. So anyway, I don't even have this mounted yet. I'm gonna bring it up here and try to put a clamp on it. So the whole place, and then we'll see if we can get an edge on this thing. So we've got our edge on there. Get some color on the handle. Alright, so for the touches, I'm just gonna add some oil blending oil to the handle. Get them a little better look. We'll call it done. finished product. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me on this knife project. This was a lot of fun to do. Can't wait to do the next one. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit the button down there. I appreciate it. Try to do a video every week you can. Come back next week, see what we got going on. Till then guys, yeah. We can't, uh,